good because basically I'm doing this from uh from my GoPro. I already took my uh, I already took my setup down and I'm getting ready to get on this road very quick. Today's podcast is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, I will probably be getting this podcast up probably tomorrow or something like that. Responding to comments, y'all. What's going on, Lockout Men here? And I uh, welcome you to this uh, podcast right quick. Uh, let me let me think. Let me think. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And make sure you hit the all button to make sure you get the content. I got my cat over here walking around. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. All right. So first thing first, I, I want to shout out... Uh, First, I want to uh, make an apology right quick um, and probably give you guys a little bit more of a background about me and and what I and what I do over here. Um, as I said before, I said it once, I said it again, I said it many times before. I don't like drama. I don't like I don't like causing drama. And uh, I don't like uh, I don't like drama being, you know, drama five. You know what I'm saying? So here's a disclaimer for you guys. You know, like when I have co-hosts or guests on or anything like that. Uh, actually, it's two disclaimers or something like that, because, you know, uh, the first disclaimer is my my phone you know i have a you know I, my phone you know i'm always i'm always recording there's there's always a camera going or or audio recording going all the time with me all the time i mean it is it is what it is uh is it's recorded all all the time through the phone through the video in my truck uh, um, what, whatever the case may be. All right. Uh, so that's a disclaimer that I want to get out. You know, that's, it's, it's recorded. So if you call me up and we have a conversation or something like that, uh, if we have a conversation or something like that, you know, it might, it may or may not be recorded. All right. I'm, I'm just saying, um, so that's that's the first disclaimer. The the second disclaimer is uh, the host, which is myself, is is not uh, is was what's the word I'm looking for? Is not responsible for what other people say on my channel, or is not is is may not be is it's not the opinion. Of the host so if if the co-host is talking you know say something or something like that you know it's is not based on the opinion of of me myself lockout men or the lockout men podcast that's their opinion they are entitled to it um they they are entitled to it that's what their thoughts and that's how they feel they are entitled to it just like I am entitled to my opinion and my thoughts and my feelings. But I'm just saying that they, you know, when would what they talk about is what they talk about. All right. So before I get into the respond to comments uh, video, uh, I do want to shout out uh, that. I do want to apologize to one of my uh, one one of my uh, one of my friends. Uh, one of my friends the conversation in my opinion was was a great conversation and i decided to uh i decided to put it up but but um it made her upset uh she didn't like it uh so she kind of so she kind of got mad at me 
And out of respect for her, because I, you know, I like and respect her. I like and respect her. Um, I hurried up and took it down. Um, so, you know, just to let her know that, uh, that, you know, I apologize and I didn't think I, you know, I didn't think at the time that it was, it was harmful. You know, it was, it was good banter between me and her, you know, good conversation, you know, you know, good rhetoric, good co-host. What are you doing back there, man? What are you doing? Uh, good banter, good co-host, you know, good talk. But I, you know, the conversation, the conversation that we was talking was, you know, a little bit on the splits of side. So I didn't think, you know, I, I just thought that it was a good conversation. But um, unfortunately, she she felt kind of she she felt different about it. And uh, and like I said, out of respect for her, um, I went on ahead and uh, I went on ahead and took it down. Um so don't ask me who it is. Don't ask me what the conversation was about. Uh, the video was only up for like a couple of minutes. And uh, I hurried up and took it down and, and got a new video up that's in the place of it. So definitely check out that video. But this video right here, um, I, got an email, uh, I got an email from one of my subscribers. And I really didn't know that this that this particular drama on YouTube was was like going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, he sent me, you know, he 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 contacted me this morning and he was like, yo, bro, um, I got this, uh, you know, I got this uh, video. Uh, a lot of a lot of YouTubers are are talking about it. Is uh, something that something that you might be interest interested in, you know, uh, making a, you know, you know, giving your thoughts on it or something like that. So he sent me the video and the video was a uh, was a uh, was make sense. Now, before, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm subscribed to make sense. I mean, you know, he's a good channel. You know, the guy got some uh, good content on his channel. And I've been following him for, you know, following him for a while. So I, uh, I go to the video and the title, this is the title right there. Mark Anthony Storm exposing sexual predator exposed exposure. And I'm like, huh, what's this about? You know, now it's this other the other YouTuber he's talking about in this video is is a guy named Mark Anthony Storm. Now I wasn't even hip to him, but I did a I did a call video uh, about a month ago, maybe a couple of months ago. I got a suggestion to do a call video to Scotland Transportation, and uh, you know I called them up, talked to them. They the ones that got the uh, the hoods. You know what I'm saying? The the W, the Kenworth, the KWW nines, the hoods. Uh, yeah, they. You know, I I talked to them. Good interview, by the way. You know, I'd say I'd say I got a little bit of information, maybe not that much, but uh, all of a sudden, I start seeing this YouTuber that works for Scotland. His name is Mark Anthony. Follow the storm, and I'm like. Oh, okay, well, this guy works for Scotland, and you know, you know, I, I, I clicked on a couple of his videos, but I, to be honest with you, I hate to say I, I'm not too much of a fan of his videos, but um, he's like a creator. He's like one of them creator that you know that makes the cuts, the the phase, and all that other good stuff. You know, some of his videos is good, but then the last couple of videos that I seen, uh, he you know he did one with a with a model or something like that. I I guess you know it's pretty good. You trying to get views for your for your channel, I guess. You you gotta do what you gotta do in the YouTube field. You gotta you gotta find your niche. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, to try to to try to get in the field. But um in in Make Sense video, he was talking about Mark made a allegation 
allegedly, allegedly made an allegation that uh, makes sense trucking is a sexual predator. And, uh, and yeah, I'm some, you, you gotta, you really gotta watch what you say and or do on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there could be a lot of backlash on what you say or do. And that's, and that's why I said in the beginning about my situation with, with, uh, with, 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 my uh with my friend and i truly consider her as a friend and i i really i probably lost her friendship in doing this so but um but i really and truly did not want to uh want to hurt her or anything or anything like that um so made sense trucking he uh, he he responded back to that video after Mark Mark made a video about I, I think it was a Harvey Weinstein or trucking or some shit like that. I did not get a chance to see the video because, like I said, I wasn't I wasn't you know I'm not subscribed to Mark Anthony or anything like that. Only time I only time I see a Mark Anthony video is when is uh, is. Uh, uh recommended get, get get from over there uh when it's recommended so that's the only time when i watch a mark anthony follow the storm video i guess but uh but i went to go find the video i but it says in the link that he took it down so obviously it was it was a good it was a good cause on make sense part and his wife part to you know, appeal to him to take uh, take the video down, accusing him of being a sexual predator. Now, that's a very, very, very strong word, being accused of uh, being accused of a sexual predator. You know, in, you know, make pri um, make sense says that he said in his video that he was calling, you know, he was getting calls. Uh, he was, you know, reaching out to female truckers that has YouTube pages and try to help them build their channel. Now, you know what? Maybe for a guy, you know, maybe a guy might need some help to build his channel. Because, you know, with this YouTube thing, as far as a guy goes, it's about your your character on YouTube, you know. A little bit of it is your is is your content, but a lot of it is your character. You know, that's what people come back for. You know, when when people subscribe to your channel, you know, they subscribing, especially for a guy, they subscribing to the guy because of his character and what he and what he brings to the channel. You know what I'm saying? And like I said about YouTube, it's about it, it, it's about any and everything about YouTube. But as for a woman, I really and truly honestly think that a woman really don't need no help in growing her channel. I mean, especially if you have the big boobs and the pretty face and and all like that. I mean, there's really no reason for uh, for her to need additional help to grow her channel. Now, as far as I go, as far as I go. I reach out to female truckers all the time. I got I got email. You know, I'll reach out. I watch their channel and all like that. They got something good to say in their channel or they bringing something good to the industry or they got an experience that they want to get out. I bring them on. I bring them on my channel. We chop it up. We you know, we chop it up and all like that and then bam bam boom and that's it. You know, I I'll send them a thank you. I send them a thank you letter saying or a thank you email saying thank you for coming on to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Yada, yada, yada. You know, we do have like conversations outside of 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 the channel and all like that. But but that's about it. But being accused of of. Of trying to get sexual advances and you want it for you to advance their channel. That shit crazy. 
That shit crazy. What woman in her mind, in her right mind, will turn around and say, "Oh, hey, uh, hey, a uh, guy with five thousand subscribers or ten thousand subscribers? Hey, I would give you some sets if you help me grow my channel." Really? What? What? Really? I, to be honest with you, I haven't heard of no shit like that. I really haven't. I, I haven't heard of no shit like that. But going further, going deep into the into uh, Make Sense video, they did get Mark on the phone, and uh, and his and his wife was asking him, talking to him, and Mark was like backpedaling and shit, like, oh well, I don't want to get involved with uh, with 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 family issues and this, that, and the third. I don't want to be involved, but you are, bro. You are involved. You the one that brought it out. You the one that made made the accusation. So how can you how can you not be involved with that? Then he's gonna turn around and say, hey, you know, you, you need to talk to make sense. Well, I'm talking to you. I'm I'm talking to the person that it came from. I'm talking to the person that came from the horse's mouth. Like literally, like you, bro. It didn't come from make sense. You're accusing him. You're accusing him. So during the conversation between him and his uh, uh, make sense wife and Mark, she asked him like directly. And this man keep going, you know, backpedaling, talking out the side of his neck. Uh, uh, I don't want to tell you who told me. And, uh, you know, this, this is the thing with YouTube. You got a lot of people, you got, you, you got a lot of people that email you, that tells you things, but you can't tell whether, whether or not if it's true. If it's true or not, you don't know. Somebody sent me an email about another YouTuber and all like that. I, you think I'm going to go off and, and, and make a video about that without me going to find out myself? Now, in the video, he did mention that you know, uh, three women called him up to tell him about her husband. Like, bro, really? Like some like uh, uh, like they going to call you like you, 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 you are the what? The the Dr. Phil of trucking. They they going to they going to find Mark Anthony Storm. And they're going to find you to tell you about what this man done to them or has done to them. I, me personally, maybe I don't know, but I personally don't think that it will happen like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you accusing this man of being a sexual predator. And now that they got you on, his wife called you to ask you directly directly woman to man directly no bullshit in the middle you couldn't come straight out and tell her who it was but you did come out and say when she mentioned the other girl's name uh honey badger or something like that um and then you try to mention another another girl's name but you you didn't go into detail about that but mark i mean make sense called honey badger on on this video and honey badger was like yo i i ain't i ain't ask you for no sets or nothing like that who said that so they caught you in the lie bro they caught you in the lie let me tell you something about this youtube field this this field is a small field y'all gonna run in we're gonna run into each other we're we going to run in. We're going to see each other out here in the streets. And and you said that you said that the one YouTuber, her husband is looking for makes sense because he made a sexual advance to him. I mean, to her. But you can't tell the wife who it is. Because. You, quote unquote, don't want to get involved or anything like that. I look, 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 you know, 
I, it's all about content. It's all about trying to get, trying to get the views, trying to get the, uh, trying to get the watch time, trying to build your channel, trying to be the Casey Neistat of YouTube right now. Try to be the, try to be the PewDiePie of YouTube. Try to have millions of subscribers. You know, you told in the video, makes sense. Says you told him that you want your YouTube to be you know to be the it thing so you don't have to drive no more but i said this in my video back in the day by you being in trucking is the reason why is is the reason why you being watched i mean think about it there has been other youtube other youtubers in the past that has flip-flopped their channels and and some of them is good. They still getting they still getting watch time or whatever, whatever. And then some of them is just not interested no more because the only reason why they was interested in the first place was you being I mean, you doing trucking videos. And now since you, you know, you you trying to you trying to get up out of the truck and try to do something on YouTube. Nobody ain't going to be interested in that. Maybe depending on what 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 you get into. Maybe, but I'm just saying the, the main reason is because of trucking. You know, people is interested in what you're doing in or around the truck. Basically, point blank simple. But still, that's an allegation. That is a strong fucking word to be to, to accuse somebody of of being a sexual predator, man. This dude got a wife, kid. You know, and, and like I said before, the wife came out, came, came in to be like, "Lo, brother, man, come on now. Help a sister out. You know, what if I want to, you know, I need to know, you know, and you over here backpedaling, talking out the side of your neck, uh, this, that and the third. And now you got the whole trucking community coming after you, bro. I mean, if you was once a respectable trucker on here that's that was giving good information, that was giving good content, you know, I like that. Now you got a gang of you got you got a gang of them that just coming out there. That's just berating your ass. You know, that's lit. I mean, literally berating your ass like, you know. And you even got some, you even got some YouTubers that's, you know, that's going a little bit on the deep end. But let me, let me talk to you about that deep end right quick. There's beef on YouTube between YouTube truckers been going on since the end of fucking time. You know, you got YouTubers that's beefing with YouTubers. You got YouTubers that's, that's been beefing with each other for years, you know. But you got all, you got this you got these YouTubers that will turn around and say, hey, you know, run up, you know, I'll leave I'll I'll leave where I'm at. I'm going to be in such and such trust stop in such and such city. Run up on me. Come see me. L let me tell you guys something. It's not going to be that YouTuber that's going to run up on you. It's going to be that super fan that's going to run up on you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to it's that it's that one YouTube uh, that YouTube fan that that's that's uh, that YouTube super fan that's going to run up on you and, and do something to you, do some harm to you. Let me give you an example, a tough example. Now, hey, everybody in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong about this. All right. But let me give you an example. L listen, listen, let me give you an example. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Let uh, I'm about to let 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 that resonate for a minute. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Let let it sink in. Just give me. I look. Let it. Let it sink in. Now, when Tupac and Biggie was beefing, or I should say when Tupac was beefing with Biggie, all right, they, they, made, they, they made 
diss records between, you know. A lot of people want to say who shot you was a diss to Tupac, but I really don't think who shot you was an actual diss to Tupac. But Tupac, Tupac made that hit him up. Uh, he he came at he came at Biggie and 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 Bad Boy hard in that in that record. That was the venomous, that was the venomous diss right there. But who killed who who got killed in that situation? Both of them. Did Biggie kill Tupac? Nope. Did Tupac kill Biggie? Nope. It was that. It, it was it was somebody that liked Tupac and it was somebody that liked Biggie. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It was Biggie and Tupac. Both of them got ki- both of them got killed in drive by shootings. Biggie was on his was 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 in Los Angeles, which I personally think that he shouldn't have went. You know what I'm saying? It was too early. It was too soon. It was still heat. It was still fire. Somebody that liked it, Tupac, came and 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 took Biggie out. Somebody that liked it, Biggie, came and took Tupac out. So just think about what you guys is putting out here. You know what I'm saying? Just think about the 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 the. The ramification that could happen, and it won't be by that YouTube trucker person. It's going to be by that YouTube trucker fan. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? So, allegedly, allegedly, you know, this man is supposed to be a a, a sexual predator, but after watching Make Sense video, hey, he proves that he not. He's basic. He basically proved that the dude is pretty much a liar, you know. And it all stemmed down because of uh, what Mason says that it all stemmed down because of of a of a shout out. You you didn't get a shout out. He didn't shout you out in his video. And you mad, bro, because of that? You mad, bro? Bro, you mad because of that? You mad because he, this man didn't give you a shout out. I mean, at least, I mean, you know, if I was giving a shout out to somebody, I would just give it out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and, uh, and let that person know that, hey, you know, I'm about to give you a shout out. I'll just shout you out. Especially if he's doing something good. Hey, like right now, here's a good example. Shout out to my man Guilty 718. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man got an excellent channel. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to him. You know what I'm saying? He's a trucker's trucker. He's a trucker's truck trucker. Whatever. <laughs> go shout. I'm I'm shouting him out. Did I did I need to call up Guilty Seven One Eight and say, "Hey Guilty, my Hey Guilty, my brother, uh, you doing good things on your channel, and I, I, I I'm gonna shout you out on my channel, man." Click. Ah, oh, if you like what they doing, just shout them out. You know. Hey, you know, shout out to all the all the people that came on my podcast that did the interview with me. Shout out to uh, Bernadette LaShine. Shout out to Queen Trucking. Shout out to AG the Mogul. Shout out to Kitty the Trucker. Shout out to Rika Sherry. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of them that came on my channel, that came on my channel and chopped it up with me. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to Karaji. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sweat Bread. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sweat Bread. Shout out to my man. Uh, Young Grind Global. Shout out to my man Nell. Shout out to Clinton Kirker. Shout out to uh, uh, who, who else? Who, who else? Shout out to all the recruiters that came on my channel and chopped it up with me. I don't need to call them up. I don't need to call them up and and say, 
hey, I'm, I'm going to send you a shout out. Just shout them out. That's all. That's all you, you know, over here chilling with me and all like that, cat. Um, but still, are you mad because of a shout out? Well, you know, he was supposed to shout me out and, and it didn't happen. And, you know, I, I, I decided to come after him. But you just, you really need to watch what you say and do on YouTube, man. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just something that, that you might want to consider, you know. Like I said, me, you know, in my situation, you know, in my situation, I, I truly apologize to, uh, to my friend because, like I said, I, I consider her as a good friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? I consider her as a good friend of mine. You know, the conversation that we had, that, you know, that we had, we was talking and all like that. I thought it was good conversation to, to you know, to put out on my channel, but, you know, it, it made her mad. And being that it made her mad, of course, you know, I, I didn't feel good about it. You know, I felt, you know, I, I didn't feel good about it. And I, you know, I changed, you know, I changed it and I, I took it, I took it down out of respect for her. That, and that's what I do. If something that I do, you know, to, to somebody that I consider as a friend and I, you know, and I, I see that it upsets them. Or some in some capacity or some kind of way, then yeah, you know, I'm going to be man enough to apologize and man enough to, you know, if the video is up or something like that. Of course, I'm going to take it down because I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you. That's not my intentions. Of that's not my intentions. I'm not a, I'm not a mean spirited person. I'm a good, you know, I'm a good person. At least I want to consider myself. You know, I can be an asshole at times. You know what I'm saying? You know, my son could tell you like, yo, dad, he's an asshole. Yeah, I could be an asshole at times. But but still, if I consider you as as a friend and I respect you as that and I see something that I may have said or may have done upset you. Then, of course, I'm going to take it down and I will do that. I did that before that. You know, sometimes sometimes things on YouTube can can go to the left or anything like that. But this right here between between Make Sense and Mark Anthony or Mark. Yeah. Mark the Storm is is way too to the left that you can probably take take it. You know what I'm saying? It is way to the left. I said I was going to respond to some of the comments. Uh, I, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to go <laughs> go into the deep end, but I, I thought I'd just, you know, give my thoughts on it, my thoughts and opinions. You know, like I said, I don't want to be in the middle of anything. You know, this is between uh, Mark and make sense. Hopefully they can they can rectify the situation. You know, and I, I hope it don't go. I hope it don't go no further than than what it is, you know, because sometimes people will take it a little a little bit further than what it is. And I'm hoping that it that it don't go no further than that. We don't need another Biggie and another Tupac. We, we don't need none of that, man. We don't need none of that. We I understand it's all about views. It's all about uh, what's about. It's all about views. It's all about, uh, you know, watch, you know, trying to get trying to grow your channel. You're trying to grow your channel. And that's what it's about. I get it. I got it. I understand it. You know, everybody is trying to find some type of niche to 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 get their popularity going on YouTube. You know, Robert Richard says, Sammy, this the so-called storm is nothing but a little boy trying to act like a man. He is the one that has stated that he was once offered to do a porno movie. He now shows a girl he calls the hottest girl in trucking far from it. You are correct saying that this guy usually does usually does not know trucking. His video, his video are all about look at me. I'm so wonderful. Well, he's not personally. I think the man has a mental problem. The so-called storm has blocked me from commenting about his videos because the truth hurts. Now that he tries to suck other people into his world, causing chaos in theirs. 
Sammy, I have been in the trucking business for almost 30 years and the trucking has made my life what it is, a very great life. When I go to YouTube to watch trucking videos, I go to learn more about the business. I think I know so well and I must say that I have learned a lot from Sammy. Sammy is made sense, by the way. Uh, the so-called storm is the true Weinstein of trucking. You're the scumbag using women to get people to watch your videos. To Sammy and his wife, don't listen to this asshole. He's just jealous of your success. To the so-called storm, you're a little boy trying to be in a man's world that you don't understand. Sammy, just keep doing what you're doing. You have been doing, you have been doing, keep doing what you've been doing. And don't let this asshole like this so-called storm mess with your, mess with your family and your, mess with you and your family's life. Storm, you are nothing but a little rain shower that eventually will come to an end. Sammy and his wife, don't let this boy get up under your skin. He's a legend in his own mind, which is nothing. Keep trucking, Sammy, and keep the videos coming. Do a great job. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, makes sense. If you know that you did not, if, if you know that you're innocent, if you know that you're innocent and you did not do nothing, then don't don't let that bother you. You know what I'm saying? It would all actually it will all come to pass, bro. You know, y'all already did what y'all y'all already did what y'all came out to do. Y'all came, y'all came and made him make the made him take the channel down. You could get actually you could get a lot. Well, it says it was removed by the user, but I mean, if you get enough, if you get enough people to flag that video, it, it, it eventually would get take. You know, YouTube would take notice and and take the video down. Uh, let's see. Diesel Nick said the guy's a joke. All this, I don't get involved in another man's relationship bullshit. But still put a video up about another man's relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to tell the wife you, you're going to turn around and tell the wife. Oh, well, I, I, I don't want to get involved or nothing like that. But you are involved. You put the video up. Why you put the video up? Oh, I, I, I put the video up so that I can let I, I can let women know uh, about this situation that's going on in trucking. Really? Really? Really, bro? Really? Man, come on now. Come on now. You you ain't put you ain't put that video up for no educational purpose. You put that video up for controversy. You put that video up for views. You put that video up so that you can gain more subscribers because you put you you talked about you may not you may not have said this man's name, but you hinted to to him. Uh Roger What's this? RP, RPG, ER, Van Burn said, this guy's not a storm. He's a fart in the wind. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua says, Sammy, let your wife know she has nothing to be sorry for. She was defending your honor and integrity of your family and friends. Most definitely. Now, his wife. I had to, I, man, listen, his wife was a strong, was a strong female. She's not that, she's not that type of female that goes off believing what other motherfuckers say. You know what I'm saying? She did her homework. She went to the horse's mouth like, yo, bro, tell me who said this about my husband. You tell me. Oh, well, why are you not talking to him? No, 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 no. I don't need to talk to him. I need to talk to you. You the one that's bringing it out. So shout out and salute to your wife for doing that, bro. You know, other other weak minded women will probably would have came to you and said, uh, well, yada, 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 this, that and the third and yada, yada, yada. And, and it would have it would have made for a horrible home life. But she was strong enough to turn around and say, yo, get get this man on the phone right quick. Let me let me talk to him. Woman, 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 the man. Highway man says, 
Everyone needs to call the company that Mark is leased on to and ask them if they are okay with him showing their trailer and name in his videos while leaving these types of accusations. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a good comment right there. That, as a matter of fact, that is an excellent comment right there. Hell yeah. That's an excellent comment right there, bro. Mm-mm. And on be, I'm I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it on that comment. I'm gonna respond to it. And I'm gonna end it on that comment. Listen, there is a whole lot of reasons why I don't mention my company in my videos. The new company that I'm at now, I don't mention their uh I don't mention their name in my video. I don't even, I got a lot of you guys that sending me email. I got a lot of you guys that sending me, uh, that sending me email, DM, uh, private messages. Who you work for? Where you work at? Who you drive for? Who you do this? Who you, who you with? No, bro. No. I am not letting you guys, y'all probably, excuse me. Y'all probably might seen it in a, in a couple of my videos, you know, my truck and trailer. It's not like I'm, I'm doing it on purpose. Sometimes I don't have to, you know, sometimes I'm not thinking about where I'm at and where I show the camera, but I, I'm not mentioning it. I, I did a video once last year. If you can find that video, more power to you. If you can find that video, more power to you. Only a, only a certain few knows who I drive for. Only a certain few knows that. I don't mention my company's name for several reasons. Number one, it's a local company. It's a small company. It's not a large company like a J.R. Schwugel or uh, a U.S. Express. All right. So I'm not looking for uh, referrals. That's number one. I'm not looking for referrals. I mean, this particular company, to, to, to even work for this company, you got to live 50 miles away from the company in order to drive for it anyway. So what is the point of me letting, you know, telling you guys who I work for? I'm not, you know, if you live in, if you live in Texas or, or, or Minnesota or North Dakota or any, any part of the far states, you won't be able to drive. You won't be able to drive for this company anyway. Because it's a local company and they only hire within a certain mile, I mean, certain mile radius. That's number one. Number two, look, dude, I, 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 I don't need no backlash. I don't need no backlash. I don't need no hater. I don't need no hater or anybody that doesn't like me to call my company up and say, hey, lockout man says something that I didn't like, uh, like on his channel. So go and 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 talk to him and yada 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 i don't need that this is my channel this is this is my channel anything what i say anything that i say or do on this channel this is mine you know that's another reason why i don't mention uh mention my company's name because this is my channel this is my channel now being in a situation like that man you you going to turn around and accuse uh, uh, accuse somebody of allegedly of of a strong word like sexual predator or anything like that, man. That's a strong fucking word, bro. Yeah, you yeah, that's grounds for you know that's grounds for the company to turn around and be like, hey, uh, you know, you 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 might want to take that content down, bro. Uh, you know, you you making you making us look kind of bad, you know. You're making us look kind of bad. Social media, you know, you also you also got to make sure that um, that when you do social media content, you got to make sure of the social media policy that your company may or may not have. So, but yeah, that's that's uh that's that's reasons for for me not to mention uh, mention my company name or 
you know, show the company logo or anything like that in my videos. Like I said, you guys may or may not, you know, uh, you know, without me thinking, you guys might see a glimpse of the truck in the background or may see a glimpse of the logo. But as far as me actually talking, uh, talking about my company and um, um talking not just talking about my company but you know trying to promote my company i'm i'm not i'm not doing that my company can promote itself you know what i'm saying my company can promote itself and i always said you know I, i'm in i'm in my company's facebook group so if anybody that's in the is in the facebook group they will see me and then they could talk to me that way but as far as youtube goes I I just not going to uh mention my company in in my YouTube videos. Like I said, it's not about it's not about it's not about getting paid. It's not about getting money. It's not about getting a it's not about getting a referral bonus no more. Now like I said, you know, US Express and JNR Swoogle, yeah, it was all about that. I ain't going to lie about that. It was all about the money over there. But um but over here, it's not about the money is not about the referral bonus. I enjoy working for this company. I enjoy driving for this company. I enjoy my fleet manager. Me and him has a personal bond with each other. Um, I, I enjoy the ambiance of this company and I'm just not going to mention anything on that matter. And I'm also not going to put myself in a situation to jeopardize my company, you know, whether if I say something that may that may or may not hinder my ability to drive for this company. So. So on that note, I am done. Uh, if you guys like content like this and more, don't like don't don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and hit that bell on the way out the door. Make sure you hit the all button. Make sure you you know, if you like content like this, definitely come on. Yo, if you have a story to tell, you have some experiences you like to share, you like to chop it up with your boy. Let me know. Get at me at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, lockout men over in the Instagram. Uh, you can hit me up in the messenger like my man did, you know, that he sent me this information. Um, shout out to my man, Make Sense. Uh, you got a subscriber now. I mean, you know, like I said, I've, I've been following you. Um, hopefully the situation between you and Mark uh, work itself out. Hopefully it don't get it. It don't turn it. It don't get no more left than what it already is. Why are you coming over here? Come on now. Keep going. There you go. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't know. But let me get on up out of here. Oh, and again, let me uh, let me apologize to uh, let me apologize to my friend. Uh, I, I, I heard it in your voice that I that uh, that I that you was truly hurt about the um you was truly hurt and i am so sorry so so sorry for hurting for hurting you i really didn't mean to i didn't really mean to hurt you i really i didn't i i didn't think all right so let's let's just say the man part of me just didn't just didn't think and i apologize for it and uh and i hope uh yeah, uh, I hope uh, I hope everything cool. I I just hope I didn't mess up my uh, I hope I didn't mess up my relationship with you. So like I said, you you're a really cool person. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.